Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode nine, the finale of The Haunting of Bly Manor. Well, this has been a wild ride. Um, I think it's it's such a different story from season one, which I think makes it, you can't really compare, it's apples and pears. Um, in terms of like the quality of, of the show, I think if anything, I think this slightly has the edge. Um, on Hill House, I think they've just tightened some elements up. Um, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I'm so impressed because I was so nervous going into this. I was trying to have no expectations at all because I loved Hill House so much, but they have knocked this out of the fucking park. I really, oh, I love this team. I want them to stay together and I want them to make a lot more television because I, I could watch these morality tales forever. Um, love it. So that said, um, We've just, I've just come off the last episode because I just, I want to finish this today. I'm so, I've been so worried about getting spoiled that I've kind of wanted to, to kind of get through the watching of this quite quickly. But the thing is, the moment you watch it, you want to show the reaction. So I've actually like overworked myself <laughs> the last couple of weeks. So I'm really going to be happy once, once this one is done and then I can release them at, at a steady pace from here on out without worrying about the fact that, you know, I could get spoiled or something like that. Um, especially with a show like this, which, you know, a lot of the um, reactors that I like watching are reacting to it. So it's kind of like all in my space. Um, and I just, I really, really want to be able to actually watch everyone else's reactions as well. That's the other thing. It's like, I don't get to watch what they're up to because the, the problem you have with watching other reactors react to something that you're reacting to at the same time is they can end up influencing you. You know, they might be ahead of you on a theory or have a contesting theory or something like that. So I like to kind of stay in my lane with the reactions. So yeah, that said, um, if you want to watch this and all the reactions to this series and uh, quite a chunk of Hill House actually. I think I was doing full length reactions for Hill House from episode four or five. If you wanna watch all of those, then head over to Patreon. Um, we've also got a Discord um, operating there so we can have a proper chat as well. Yeah, I'm well excited about this. I'm actually a little bit nervous too. Um, the episode's called The Beast in the Jungle. What the fuck? Who's, who, I mean, where's the jungle? Who's the beast? What the fuck is going on? We've got bloody miles in peril, occupied. I'm going to use the term occupied, not possessed. Occupied by Peter Bastard Quint. We've got um, Hannah, Mrs. Gross, bereft, thinking she's unable to protect anyone from all this shit is going down because she's realized she is dead and her body is lying at the bottom of the well we've got danny being you know choked out by um viola lloyd who we know is the anchor that is holding all of these spirits at bly manor including her sister who had killed her so we're fairly sure that Henry is on his way back to Bly. Um, Jamie is a wild card because she had the invitation to return this evening from Danny, which she, she sort of declined, but she may change her mind. If she does, well, she's about to come across some bullshit. That's not going to be fun for her. And we've just got every, you know, really the completion of everyone's emotional arc in this episode. I, uh, you know, I, I'd love to say, oh, I don't know how they're going to do that. But, you know, the finale of um, of Hill House was, um, was probably one of the best episodes of television I've ever seen, actually. I need to add that to my list. Um, but yeah, so I can't wait. I'm really excited for this. I, have, I actually don't really have much of an idea what's going to happen and I'm fine with that. I'll just, I'm just going to roll with the punches on this one. No predictions. Without further ado, oh, for the last time, 
la savarette. For the last time, let's have at it. Dominic is dead. Charlotte is dead. Rebecca and Peter are dead. Wow. And I'm dead. I'm dead. Yes. Right here, this moment. What a curious and charming man, I thought. Oh, and it had been so long, I'd forgotten that feeling, but I thought of you often. Thinking about the places we would go wherever to leave Bly. You'd open your restaurant, make me taste all those wonderful recipes you created in that beautiful, maddening mind of yours. I would think that I would very much like to spend the rest of my days with you. Listening to your dreadful puns, <laughs> holding your hand and... I prefer it here. You have to help me. I thought I was. Out there. If I leave, I don't know where I'll go afterwards. I'll be brave in death, Hannah. Oh, fuck me. We both know you're not so selfish to remain hidden in the memory. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Get inside! Now hide! Let her go! Stop! Woo! Oh shit! Grab her! Hannah! Oh fuck! Were they there all the time? Oh, yes! The fuck? Put her down, you angry old bitch! If she's dead, I am gonna fucking lose it. Please. Let her go. No, no, no! Oh, fuck it out. Fucking song. The week. What the fuck? Peter, you absolute waste of fucking space! Yes, so! Help me! You're just watching! Move for you! I gave you your freedom. And you're letting it drown. Oh my god, Henry, it's your fucking door! Henry! Oh, Jesus Christ. Put her down now! Oh, she's gonna. I said, put her down! Oh, shit! We both had an awful dream and we just drove and... The lake. They, they need you at the lake. Let me handle this part. <laughs> Let me in. It's me. It's me. It's us. Mummy. There, my darling. It's all right. <laughs> 
and tried to breathe life into Henry, who hovered between life and death. And it would have all gone that way had not the au pair, in that critical moment, said what she said. Something she did not entirely understand, but something she felt in her bones. She had to try. It's, it's you! It's me! It's us! Oh, no, 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 don't swap with her. Oh, shit. God's sake! When he checks the well, please tell Owen I'm sorry. <gasps> tell him I love him. And the rest, well, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone free? Is Peter now fucked I'm off? I'm so sorry, Miles. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Piss off. Just piss off to your forever place. You son of a bitch. <laughs> The au pair invited Viola into herself, and the invitation had been accepted. In that instant, the spell that Viola had cast over Bly was broken. Flora! <gasps> and all of the spirits trapped in her gravity were released. Oh, oh my God. God! Miles! I'm so sorry, kids. I'm so very sorry. Hannah, where's... Where's Hannah? <laughs> in the days that followed, a calm settled over Bly Manor for the first time in centuries. The very air was different. My favourite was when he taught me how to sew patches into the knees of my trousers. <laughs> and he knew how to sew? Oh, very well, in fact. <laughs> Do you have any other stories? Uncle Henry? About your father? Yes, I do. A lot of them. And your mother, too. I'll tell you all the stories I've got. Oh, God. After the housekeeper's body was taken from the well, some in the village said that the cook rode with her all the way to the coroner. And there, he insisted on cleaning her himself. He stayed at her side until she was buried. And he loved her the whole way. I'm told, and I believe, that he loves her still. <laughs> Jesus Christ! She's in here. Please, for it. Rage. And I have this feeling like I'm walking through this jungle. And I can't really see anything except the path in front of me. This angry, empty, lonely beast is watching me. She's waiting. At some point, she's gonna take me. Yeah. Oh, Jamie, fuck. Do you want company? Are you wait for your beast in the jungle? Do you want company? God. Ride or die. She is fucking ride or die. Uh, America, I think. <laughs> you think that's where we're uh, where we're gonna go? First, for for you. It's you. Oh, thank you, Flora. For me. Well, I'm just so goddamn lucky, aren't I? And so are you, Miss Clayton. <clears throat> Where's this going now? Yeah, Thelma Louise, this shit. Come on. 
Time is fine by me. I fucking love you, Jamie. As long as those days with you, Poppins. One day at a time is what we've got. God we damn! Got when you get down to Yeah. Is that a moonflower? Yeah. <laughs> They're really rare, you know. I've got a problem. Or rather, oh, no. you see, I'm not sick of you <sighs> at all. I'm actually pretty in love with you, it turns out. <sighs> One year became two. <sighs> and from two, it spread into an endless time, so it seemed. Three, four, five years will pass. And there was peace. At long last, deep within the au pair's heart, there was peace. And that peace held for years, which is more than some of us ever get. 